Ooh, this might need more output here. This actually might need more output. Let's do an additional couple of workers in there. So not every second this is uh, this is creating a log, and now this guy is getting some fuel as well. So those are both working, which is good. I was a little bit worried. I noticed the nail production had uh, come to a halt there. Oh, this is such a mess, and I love it. I love it. This is something that, like, Factorio does have this sense of, like, spaghetti junctions, and you can sort of take things. You can go underneath other conveyors, and it does have splitters. And I'll be honest, the animation for the splitter in Factorio, I love it. Absolutely love it. If you haven't seen Factorio, I've got an unfinished series of it from years ago. There are so many talented people that play Factorio on YouTube, I cannot recommend them enough. One I watch a lot is Quill18. I've watched him play a lot of Factorio, and uh, that game's animations are brilliant. I love the detail in it. It's all, uh, it's uh, pixely. It's all kind of, I don't want to say it's a retro vibe. I don't know how you describe it, but it's, it's not super high fidelity, and it's completely top-down as well. So everything you're doing is like a top-down view, and it's just so... It's such a good-looking game. It really is. It's absolutely fantastic and has such good animations about it. So, can't recommend it enough. I I, <laughs> I realize I'm sitting playing this game. It's like, well, I don't. I, I should probably just play Factorio. <laughs> uh, whatever the case. Uh, interesting that we're still trying to produce the uh, the stone bricks needed to uh, fill this barn back up. This one here is pretty full as well. So that's all right. This path is full. This is full. You're full. It would be nice to get more flour, I feel. It would be really nice to do that. So maybe this should be the first path that we uh, we upgrade to metal conveyor belts. I'm curious to... I, I kind of want to see... Yeah, they are much faster. Good lord. I think this one's going to be the first that we upgrade. Yeah, because they move, that moves much faster. Do we have enough to do this? We sort of do. So that right there. Obviously, we need two more conveyors, but that right there is immediately, like, that's supplying that much faster. That's what I think we need. So do that. And then one more of these right there. And I think that's going to be a beautiful thing. This might actually, th no, this is staying full. So grain production looks like it could keep up, which is good. So we have another metal conveyor there. Once that's in storage, we're upgrading uh, this little bit here. And I think that's going to help with the uh, with the production of flour. I think. I guess we'll find out. Where's that uh, conveyor? There it is. It's in storage. So boom. So what does that actually do? So it does slow down a little bit. It's definitely not as... Uh, I think it's faster, but it still has that, like, pause there, because it has to, like, go out and then wait. But I think it looks like this might actually end up filling up at some point. Every time it takes three, it always has one more in it. So it'll get to eight, then it'll go down to six, then it'll get to nine, it'll go down to seven, it'll get to ten, it'll go down to eight. So, yeah, this is actually going to fill up and be producing, uh, hopefully, a lot more bread. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. So that worked exactly the way I wanted it to. So yeah, those metal conveyors are... Those are game changers, is what they are. That is... Oh! Oh, that's exciting. That's got me really excited, man. I love that. Okay. I'm real. I'm actually really pleased with that. This is actually... This is... Oh! This is giving me flashbacks to Factorio again. I keep... I keep going back to it. I keep sounding like a broken record, but it's true. It really is giving me those flashbacks. I love it. This is also working exactly how I wanted it. It's actually... This could get more workers if we uh, were to upgrade things. Although what I'm curious about... Ooh, we have enough to upgrade the base! Let's... Uh, never mind. No, we don't. <laughs> we need more stone bricks. And uh, we are 10 away from that, so... We could throw... We could throw you uh, doing that, actually. So go ahead and do that. Start... Let's start working towards more stone bricks so we can upgrade our base to level 6. You're not doing anything right now. What could you be doing? Um, Railways, I guess. 
Railways are probably the way to go here. So let's do railways. Let's start looking at that. We're also getting pretty low on red coins. So that means, I think, we need more food. Which actually, it makes sense. We need to keep in mind, I'm pretty sure uh, every forester will consume one red coin. And we have quite a few of them. So we're going to want to make sure that we're staying on top of that. Because if we start running out of red coins, we have a pretty big problem. So let's have a little look. If we look at the food market, fish is one red coin. Cooked fish is three red coins. So what I'm actually thinking is we should we should change this. Uh, we should actually. We should. Oh, I know what we're going to do here. Okay. I have an idea. Uh, we're going to get rid of this kitchen here. We're just going to get rid of it. Uh, get rid of that splitter. Get rid of all of this. We should... Uh, we don't need... I don't think we need raw fish for anything. So this wagon here can go. You can go. Uh, and who else? Who are we looking for here? You. You can go. Right. You can go as well. And then all of that can go. All of that can go. So what we're doing is we're supplying this kitchen with wood. It's making bread. That's all it's doing. You also have nothing to do now, so you can be deleted too. What I'd like to do is I want to go in. I want to remove some resources here. Not too many of them, but just a few of them. And I want to flatten the terrain down to this level. So just a bit like that. And uh, we are going to put a building. We're going to put a kitchen right next to this. And that kitchen is going to go... Now, that kitchen could go right here, and I guess we could use these wagons to start moving fish. I'm kind of tempted to try and use conveyor belts to start moving fish over to the food market. So, I think the kitchen's going to go this way, just in case I decide to use conveyor belts. Uh, that kitchen is going to make cooked fish. And that's going to use one fish, one fuel. That's fine. So, what we're going to do is go to paths. We're going to go to metal conveyor belt, because I'm nice like that. Uh, we're gonna grab a grabber, which we can't afford. Interesting. We need more red. Ooh, we are gonna need more red. Oh, we had it there. Hold on. Can we get the red back up to, uh, back up, up to 10? It was above it for a second there. It absolutely was above it for a second. There's one across the board, and it's all being consumed so quickly. Oh, there's 10 there. It's already gone. Yeah, that's gonna be... It's going to be a challenge to get red coin above 10 again, uh, again, isn't it? We just need 10 to build the, uh, to build the grabber. That's all we need. We are going to need, uh, we're going to need a lot of it, just in general. We really are. I mean, it's not essential. We could use, we could use a person for it, but I'd rather do the, uh, I'd rather do this method so I don't need to use a person. Come on, give me that 10 coin. Give me that 10 coin. It's not gonna do it, is it? We don't have we don't have a way to do it. I don't think we have enough stuff. Okay. Uh we'll use a person for the time being until uh until we can do something else. So this is gonna be yeah, this is gonna be making uh cooked fish. So you're gonna be grabbing the cooked fish. Uh and I want you to take it to the food market. You're gonna be grabbing the cooked fish, and you're gonna be taking it to the food market. All right, and then you are going to be grabbing cooked fish as well and taking that to the food market. And we're ready for the upgrade. Boom. There we go. Okay, that's uh, that's a beautiful thing. We can get more houses. So let's, let's do that as well. What do we need for these? Just 15 wood? That's no problem. Let's do, uh, let's see. Let's do one. Actually, we could do them here. Let's do one. And two. We'll do three. We'll do four. And we'll save the fifth one for a little bit. But those those are a couple more houses. That's fine. Uh, so this is already full of... Uh, what are you doing? Now you need to be bringing uh, cooked fish as well. So you're going to bring that to the food market. And uh, we still don't have the red coins needed here. We're so close at times. We get to six. We get to seven. We just need a little bit more. We just need that ten. We just need that fat 10 red coins. And it's just not going to happen, is it? That's frustrating. But that's okay. That's just going to be the way of it. Give me a uh, give me a couple of workers. 
Give me four workers. Start pulling some uh, some wood in there. We could use a lumber thing, uh, woodcutter, forester, hut, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to just because I don't think there's much point. To be totally honest, I don't think there's much point right now, especially since we don't have enough red coins. So uh, this way is, I think, going to make life a little bit easier. Uh, I do think the kitchen should probably have a few more workers. I think going for the uh, going for five workers there, 240% speed is going to be great for output. And I think those uh, those cooked fish are hopefully going to end up being really good for... Uh, oh, we got a fat tan right there. Those are hopefully going to be uh, really good for getting the red coins back up once we start getting full uh, wagons worth. So hopefully that'll be soon. In fact, it's going to be right away. So that's nice. What are you doing? No, 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 no. You're bringing cooked fish. You're bringing it to the food market is what you're doing. Oh, you don't know what to do with that, do you? Okay, dump your fish in there. You can't, can you? Okay, dump your fish in there. No, you can't do that either. Uh... You know, I don't care what you do. Just bring your cooked fish to market. All right, you really don't know. You really, you really doesn't know what to do. Um, we just delete a stack of fish there. There you go. Yeah, he's grabbed all that. And that should be good. That should give us the red coin that we need. There we go. 22 right now. So that means you can be fired. And uh, we can get ourselves that grabber that I was talking about. So there we go. I'll start moving fish in there automatically. Uh, do we need... We could, we could honestly get the Forester, I think, if we had the stone bricks, which, unfortunately, we don't. So that's alright, and I'm thinking as well, now that I, now that I think about it, we could probably set up a silo for this, rather than having them go straight to the kitchen. Set up a little silo here at the corner, so the kitchen can keep producing and outputting to a storage thing, meaning the kitchen's never going to stop producing just because it's full. That sounds like an idea to me. So, let's remove some resources right there. Let me build a silo, please, which can go right about there. And I think we just use some regular cloth conveyor belts for this. So, straight along there. And then we throw a, uh, we throw a grabber onto it. So, grabber there. The grabber is only going to be grabbing uh, cooked fish, which is there. And that's going to throw the cooked fish into uh, into the silo. All right. The next thing we're going to want, I think, is honestly just going to be the forester. And uh, we actually don't. Yeah, we don't have the materials for that. We're going to have them. We do have them. There we go. So forester. Uh, the forester could go probably there, honestly. So like right there. We'll delete you, 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 and you. We'll do a couple of little shoots. So something like, actually, get rid of you. We'll do, uh, we'll do this and that, and that should, yeah. So that's gonna start outputting wood into the kitchen, and uh, you are gonna start grabbing fish from the, uh, from the silo instead. So that silo is gonna fill up pretty, pretty good. I like to think you're gonna grab it from the silo as well, over to the food market. Uh, you're gonna be grabbing from the silo to the food market. And you're going to be grabbing from the uh, from the silo to the food market as well. Are you grabbing from the silo? No, you're not. Okay, so straight over to the food market, and that I think is going to increase quite nicely the uh, the amount of. Oh wow, this could be this could be faster. This could be faster. It's staying nicely uh, full of resources, but it's not it's not filling the silo as much as I'd like it to be. That's fine. That's that's honestly okay. Let's see here. How's this going? So railways are going to take a while. I think we are selling... Are we selling clothes at the minute? I'm not really sure. I think we're selling clothes over uh, other things. Fair enough. What was it we needed to make... Oh, what was it we needed to make the... Why has that got fish in it? Why does that barn have... Why? Why? Get that out of there. Uh, what was it we needed to make the pickaxes? I've actually completely forgotten. Because, oh, that's all the uh, the medical stuff too. So, bandages will sell for six red coins. 
Poultice, 14. And Medical Wrap, 20. We don't really need that, though. So, Wooden Axes. Ah, this right here. Pickaxes. So, Reinforced Planks. Iron Plates become Tools. Which is a pickaxe. So we can sell the pickaxe for 15 blue coins. I feel like... Wooden axes and pickaxes are two things we should really look into selling. We should look into making those. So my thinking is we want to do this in its own area. So we need planks. We need iron plates. We need reinforced planks. We need iron plates. Uh, reinforced planks. At the minute. We're making very slowly. So I'm thinking almost. It might almost be worth setting up a production line around here. Because what? Planks are trees to a uh, lumber mill to storage. So that's easy. Or straight into a workshop in this case. Uh, the iron is going to be from here to a forge into the workshop. Uh, the, the reinforced planks are going to be... And uh, that's where things get a bit tricky, isn't it? Because that's where things start... Like, we need planks and reinforced planks. We need iron and we're going to need nails. And, like, we need iron in the construction. Oh, that's... Yeah, there's a lot of levels to that. Yeah, so we need planks and reinforced planks. And then, to make the reinforced planks, we need iron and nails. So there's iron and nails in the plank, and then iron again to make the pickaxe. So that's... It's worth it, though. 15 blue coins? 8 blue coins for that? I mean, that's that's relatively easy, to be honest. Planks and... Iron plate. I realize we have a fair amount of planks in storage as well. So we could grab them from this barn. We could try and set up production down around here. I could probably do it in this space, but... Uh, I don't know if I want to do more in that space. It's already a bit of a nightmare around there. I like this area a little bit more for its potential, I think. I mean, the iron... There's iron here as well, so we could use that. So... I think that's what we do. I think that's what we're going to do. So, let's let's have a think here. We need planks, so we need lum we need logs, we need lumber. Um we need the lumber mill to turn into planks. We need planks that then split and go into a workshop and we need to go into a workshop that's going to make the reinforced ones. And we need, so we needed to split and go into a workshop for the end product and into a workshop before there to make half of them into reinforced planks. So we're going to need a, what do we need? We need a forester that goes into a lumber mill that splits 50-50 to a workshop and a conveyor. And then from that workshop and conveyor, we need to go into another workshop. Technically, I think we could... Oh, technically, could we make everything in one workshop? Like, if we were to go nuts and have a lot of inputs to one workshop, could we do that? I, I guess, technically speaking... Well, no, we need, a, we need a forge as well. Technically, yes. But uh, technically, no, actually. Because the reinforced planks are... No, they are made here. Oh, this is so many levels. Good lord. Okay. Let's start at the beginning and work our way through it. Let me start by flattening some land here. Uh, so... So I think what I'm going to do is flatten the terrain to, uh, to this level. So we're going to try and bring it up. It'd be nice if I could, um, increase the size of, like, the brush that we're working with here. But this is, this is going to do the job. So we'll flatten it all sort of... About that much is probably fine. We can bring it back a little bit. And uh, we'll go a little bit further, I think. This is using a lot of uh, a lot of yellow coins, but that right there should be, I think, enough land to uh, to work with. So that all right there. Okay. So we're gonna need a forester to start with. So let's get a forester, and the forester is gonna go up here. It's uh, not exactly where I'd like it, but that's probably fine, unless I can plant trees. Tree plants there. I guess technically I can. I guess if I put it anywhere, it'll just grow trees. We're not going to worry about that. It doesn't matter too much. The forester can go right there. So that's going to be the start of this entire production chain. And uh, we know for a fact that that needs to go into a lumber mill. 
So we are going to need a lumber mill. And the lumber mill can go about as far back as I can get it while leaving a little bit of a gap, which is going to be about there. So that lumber mill is going to make planks. Now what we need to do is have those planks go to multiple places because some of them are used in the end product, some of them are used before the end product. So we're going to have them come out. And I'm going to put a little bit of space in here so it's a lot easier to see what I'm doing. Uh, this is going to come over to here, right? So this is going to be, I guess, actually, you know what? Not there. It's going to go here. This is going to be a workshop, and that workshop is going to be making reinforced planks. So that's fine. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, so the reason I've done this, uh, the reason I've done, uh, done uh, on the left side is because we need iron and uh, nails, iron plates and nails going into the back of this as well. So we are going to need a splitter, which is going to be tricky to place because we don't have a lot of red coin. Uh, yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be really tricky to place that. There we go. So splitter right there is going to split the lumber 50-50 in each direction there. Pretty sure we can actually get started in the lumber production as well. So uh, let me let me go in. Let me go to tools. Let me go to remove resource. Take out those trees, and uh, we'll put in the uh, the shoot here. So the shoot is uh, oh, it actually can it go that way? I think it can. Unfortunately, can't curve it though. Uh, that makes things a little complicated. Let's uh, instead then get rid of you. Get rid of all of you. And do this instead. So, something like that kind of works. Oh god, that's terrible looking. You know what? Get rid of all of it. I'm gonna build my uh, my scaffolding first. So a scaffolding block there with a scaffold ramp. Uh, and then I guess there with some scaffolding blocks there as well. And then that should run straight in there. So, let's try this again. We want our curve going there. We want this to go straight along, straight down. Interesting that that doesn't want to work. Okay, can I... I can't do that. That's a bit annoying. All right. That's fixable. We can go to tools. We can flatten the terrain up to this height. I think. I'm not sure if it'll actually let me, but that's, that's probably about as good as it'll get. Uh, that's fine there, and that's fine there. So that's not going to start producing the uh, the lumber. 50% will go straight forward, 50% will go to the right, and that's the first little step on this uh, particular journey. So next, what we need to do is get our hands on two of the forges. So forges are going to be absolutely essential here. And I think what I might do is have one there and have another one next to it. So one right there, and then we need more of the uh, the smooth, uh, what do you call it? So that's, let's see, so you're going to be doing iron plates. Those iron plates are going to be going straight in there. And then you're going to need some iron ore coming back. But that's, that's again, that's doable. We can make that work. Let me just clear some of this out. Uh, so what I'm thinking we do is we'd have the we I guess we'd have the iron ore getting loaded onto a conveyor belt here rather than a chute perhaps just to be a little bit quicker although I'm not sure that a uh, conveyor belt would be quicker but we do need a splitter is my thinking can I place a splitter on a conveyor on a on a chute oh I can okay that's fine then that's actually totally fine uh so what we're going to need to do then is throw oh god this is going to be a bit of a nightmare uh let's see can I go to here, turn it to the right, have it go like that, and I guess straight on again, have it turn to the left, and go straight in there, and straight in there. Now my question becomes, can I overlap this to make it look better? I guess so. Uh, so in theory, what we're doing there is throwing a splitter right there, 
half of it's going to go into one, half of it's going to go, go uh, into the other. Unfortunately, I realize this forge is actually going to need fuel as well. I didn't think about that, did I? Did not think about that. Okay, how are we going to fuel the forge? How are we going to fuel the forge? I mean, technically I can throw everything onto one, uh, onto one, one set of shoots. But that could clog it up very easily. That could clog it up very, very easily. We might want to do this with a bunch of, uh, raised conveyors instead. And I'm also thinking I want to clear out this, uh, this bit of land a little bit more. I know these mana shards might be useful later, but right now they don't mean anything to me, so whatever. Uh, I'm gonna clear all of this out as well. And, uh, I think I'm gonna place my second forge right away as well. Because then I can get a proper picture of what we're doing. So that one's doing nails, that one's doing the iron plates, which means... We are going to want to go to paths. We're going to want to go to conveyor belt. I'm actually going to do shift six as well, or if I press six or something like that. Can I drag this to my... Can I Can I do this? Can I drag you to like... I've been told like shift six or control six or something like that. Or like six. I'd like to put that on my uh, on my hot bar. That is not what I wanted to do. Um, we'll figure that out. Someone tweeted it to me. I need to, uh, I need to pull up the tweet to see what exactly it said about uh, putting things on my hot bar. So... I don't think I can do a grabber this way. I think I need to do it uh, the way I I have done elsewhere. So something like that. Which is a little bit messy, but that's fine, I suppose. Uh, let's do that instead. Have it go that way and take you out. So then we do a grabber. We'll do a grabber there as well, just to make sure this is only grabbing the... Uh, so that's grabbing iron plates, which is there. This one is only going to be grabbing, uh, let's see, nails, which is going to be right there. Just to make sure. Might be a waste, but I just want to double check. So then this is going to be making the reinforced planks. Again, it's not going to be working yet, but uh, in time it will be. Uh, so then we want to go one, two, three, one, two, three three and uh, I guess we need it to go into a uh, oh we need spl ah now this is where things are even more complicated because it's so we've sorted planks and reinforced planks we haven't sorted our iron plates that's the tricky part here we are gonna need to uh, to move this because I'm gonna need some extra room there to bring some iron plates off of here, up and over, and yeah. Oh, that's a little more complicated than I thought it would be. Um, right. 